goes through, punches the ball through the legs of Polkinghorn. Uh, Barham there, cops run for his corner. Put through, Manetta. But missed it. Waiting on, sorry, Pete, waiting on Sutton to bring the ball back into play. Boots it out towards that half-back line. Has a chance for Ireland to mark. He's grabbed it. That was, a, that was Barham, I should say. A darn good mark out there. Drives the ball back towards the uh, full forward zone. More in the... Well, well done. Can't get an effective boot with his now. Chance now for North Melbourne again in towards full forward. And over the back the mark is taken by Ray Shaw. Shaw, short pass out towards half back. This mark will be taken by Billy Picken. Campbell in turn. Goes to Robert Hyde. Hyde will handball to his skipper, Max Richardson, on the centre wing. This will be his first kick. But we hurried one. In the game of his life at the moment. Hand pass to oh. Cable. He's solid. And Barham drives the ball back there now. Punt 77 grand final. Ball comes down to Cable. He's been covered every time he goes for the ball today. There's Barham getting one on the back. And the umpire will play a free kick. Starting to play in front too, Collingwood Louis. Well, that's the only idea. The only chance they've got of winning this game. If they're going to win it, the ball kicked up by Barham. They all missed the run of the ball. Here's a gun out for Barham to pick it up. He drives it back towards the half forward line. For points at quarter time. And by two points at half time, as Montgomery boots towards the center of the ground. Draw Collingwood to the mark. It's taken by Barham. Loves to play on, but had no opportunity on that occasion. But that Magpie is now to move deep into attack again by Golly. They're looking dangerous. Down towards more since 1958. But uh, early yet to say that the ball punched out now. Going after his run eight kick on the boundary line. He gets it back towards Barham. He goes for handcuff back to pink kick again. He's grabbed. He's cooking the ball back. A very clever bit of play that time. Up more doing a great job. And uh, the ball back into play now. As it goes out towards that half back line. A chance now for Barham to mark. And he's got the mark. North Melbourne looking a bit uh, sluggish at the moment. Playing from behind and uh, not showing much... Uh, uh, enthusiasm at all at the moment. There's more in your screen. The danger player, Croswell, has been shifted onto him because uh, Gumbelin was far too short. The ball up towards the full forward zone. They're all down the Elves. Elves boot North Melbourne and deep into attack. Down towards full forward. Looking for Baker. Sets himself. Beautifully done in front, though, by Worthington. What a duel this, this pair have had. Worthington in turn. Out towards half back line to Ray Shaw. Shaw for the Magpies in the dying stage of the third quarter. Running towards the centre wing. Looks for the short pass. He directs it out towards half forward. Barham takes it beautifully. Dreaming goalwards. 40 metres out. Bangs in towards goal. And he's put it through, I think. Goal, Ricky Barham. And the Magpies put a million dollars. And 77 looks like being the Magpies' year. In the air. Walk one to Mark. Magro's there for Collingwood, down the ground, half forward and taken by Weirmouth. His first kick for the grand final replay, out towards Barham. Barham can play on. Centre wing, long handball goes out towards Manessa. Manessa's got a heap of territory to play in. Hamble and turn goes to Ray Shaw. Shaw in his wrong boot. Hamble and turn goes back towards Renee King. Because Collingwood are wearing the white pants and North Melbourne, the darkest shorts. Out towards the half back line again for North Melbourne and Barham to drive the Magpies back into attack. North Melbourne are seven, Collingwood are one. Barham, about 55 metres out from goal, as you can see, almost on the boundary line. This will land, oh, for a short pass to Wearmouth. Oh, nearly dropped it. Well, Wearmouth is within scoring distance, but again, the Magpie is attacking pretty uh, dangerously. Short pass again, it's come off. And Wayne Richardson, the former Collingwood skipper, his first kick for the game, and directly in front. Well, I was about to say that the Collingwood side were attacking... Uh, Rather strangely, right around the boundary line. Pretty hard to score goals from there. But eventually, Wayne Richardson lining up almost directly in front. 30 metres out. Should put it through. Lines up. Bangs for goal. And the Magpies first is on the board. Score to level. Seven minutes of play in the first quarter. Seven points apiece. And we tries to get the ball back to Tanner, doing a great job. Hand pass coming back to Blythe, but they've messed it up. Barham's clear. And as they go now for Collingwood to get into attack. He doesn't know what to do with it. The hand pass is over now. As we see the ball driven up by Manasseh. Looking there for Moore and Gumbledon. Moore's got his hooks to it. And believe you me, they should have been looking for this guy for about a quarter of an hour ago. Here he is, Moore. Can he be the lifesaver for Collingwood today? Because they're really struggling at the moment. They're 36 points down. Moore already kicked one goal. He's only about... Uh, Oh, I wouldn't be 30 metres out, about 25 metres out from goal, just about directly in front. You can see the goal square in the background. The kick is OK, I'd say. 
And it's a goal of Collingwood, a badly needed one. Collingwood now, five goals, 6.36. Jaw at the back, go with a punch. Once again, Henshaw takes it back towards centre field. Picked up nicely by Gordon, he's clear. Hand pass back, back towards Ireland. He can't, he's got it now. Back towards Weirmouth and Collingwood starting to look a lot better. Free kick, free kick to Weirmouth. Collingwood supporters really coming to life. Got to get it up there to Moore if we can. Up she goes. Oh, Twiggy done nearly got it as a go now for Moore to get clear. Hand pass back. And a go for Byron. A shot, it's a go. Oh! And they're back in business for Magpies. That's his first goal. Only 11 points the difference. Only 11 points the difference at one stage. North Melton will in front by 36 points. And the Magpies starting to play the football they should play. Running on and running on. And now, there we see that, there's Dunn dropping the ball. And Moore going through. Good thinking on the part of Moore as he gets it over to Barham. Settled himself down well and put it through. <laughs> and what a game this is turning out to be, the 1977 grand final replay. Only quite break clear. Now towards the half-back line. Chance now for Barham again. Can't click the ball. Now he does. Left foot stuck by Barham in towards Moore. Down to Gray, but a shocking kick. They're going after us, Barham streaking away this time from uh, Shimmer Bush. Driving around to Dunn and Gumbledon. It's bounced right for Dunn. A hand pass over the little front. He's revitalized the Collingwood side. And he's shooting around that half forward line. Oh. It's clear now. He's going to drive the ball up to the full forward zone. Looking for more. He's got his hands to his oh, He's on the boundary line. Oh, this is going to be a very difficult shot. There's one thing in his favor. There's Barres. He's still looking at Hafey. Look at those two coaches. They must be going through sheer torture at the moment. As we wait now for more to fire for the goals. Right on the boundary line. He's a right footer. That's the only thing in his favour. We'll know by the crowd if he's kicked the goal or not. He's running around. What's he done? One point. So it's a goal. Oh, it's a goal. Oh, the, um the umpire was late, but it's a goal. Moore's made amends. And it's only 12 points the difference of the make. Uh, a bit more acceleration back again after they went through a bit of a lapse there. 22 minutes of play approaching in the final quarter. Out it goes towards Renee King. Couldn't grab it. Well backed up there by Barham. Centre wing on the outer side. The Magpies trail by 20 points and Barham's off for a run. Hamilton turned to Bond. Bond can steady down and pop in towards full four, which he does do. Top there, I think they're quite friendly. We wait for the ball to come back now. We see the ball driven around by Gordon. Back it goes to little Bond. He's tried his damnedest since he came on at uh, three-quarter time. He's been really good. Put a bit of life into the Collingwood team, but he's in trouble here now. Oh. Little, the little cables giving him about 10 years. Still kept with him for a while, but Bond streaking away. Ready to go for a pass. It's all right. And there's a pass to Barham as he fires for the goals. It looks good. It is. It is a goal. And uh, we're at the 28-minute mark. Oh, golly, what's the difference now? 15 points, I think, Louis. Let's check 15 it. 15 points. Check the scoreboard. 